In the end, I kind of think what I'm always searching for is a poetic in space. The way we have designed, certainly in architecture, is to create a border rather than have a definition of a border and then a plan to come in. I will start somewhere with no plan, but go somewhere. So I then started to think of a mobile sense of geometry, not a fixed sense, classical, but a moving sense of geometry. Teacher after teacher lost the inspiration and I had no inspiration. But then I started looking into nature. Nature provides everything, but it compresses it right down to a few things that we have discovered how to make into mathematics. The idea I had when I started to think of the quartz project, I saw the structure of quartz, the molecule, and how it can grow in any direction, could be adaptable to any environment. To have, like in the jungle, in the Alps, or in the desert within the same efficiency of the system. When I think of off ordinary, one has to think of course ordinary. And for me the ordinary has been an acceptance of the status quo, what there is. I found though, the more I looked into science, the freedom was immense. And at the root of science is the adventure of a trial and error process. You don't know, whatever you know, you'll never be satisfied ever.